your new way to play with pitch is here. This is Pitch Shaper, the ultimate creative pitch shifter. Draw new melodies onto any sound. Blend in vocal harmonies. Modulate formats. Paint vintage pitch effects. Shift in multiband. And much more. So let's fire up Pitch Shaper and go where no pitch shifter has gone before. Like all the other shapers, it runs inside our award winning ShaperBox plugin. There are four unique algorithms in here complex, vocals, drums, and vintage. We'll get to these later. Drag the slider to transpose your signal in semitones or hold shift to drag in sense. Across a four octave range, that's two octaves up or down. But let's be honest, you didn't come here for a basic static pitch shifter. The real magic begins when you draw or paint in the LFO area. Try out the wave presets to get a feel for what's possible. Now, to get the most out of Pitch Shaper, you're going to want to draw your own waves, so here are some fun tricks to try. Draw a bend at the end of a phrase for that classic pitch down effect. Or pitch only certain parts of a signal up or down to spark melodic ideas. Pitch Shaper snaps points to the nearest semitone by default, but you can turn snapping off for freeform curves. To draw steps, use the line pen. Again, I'll click and drag to lock to semitones. In the editor, the central line is the default pitch at zero semitones. The brighter horizontal lines here are octaves. The less bolded lines between are perfect fifths. These give you notes that almost always fit your melody. Once you get the hang of it, it's easy to draw the pitch offsets you want. Try painting with the line pen to stamp an ARP style melody on any sound. Then speed up the wave to make fast chiptune ARPs. And here's a quick tip, turn up the smooth control to turn steps into glides. You can even automate this in your song for wavy edits. Another tip is to draw simple octave shifts with a line pen. Then use soft points to round off some edges into smooth glides. So drawing pitch with our LFOs gives you deep control over expression and fluidity. Paint pitch bumps and imperfections that you might not think to do with MIDI or other methods. Next, it's time to explore Pitch Shaper's four pitch shifting modes. These modes are complex, vocals, drums, and vintage. This is not licensed code from anywhere else. We've developed all the algorithms from scratch in-house, and we're especially proud of the punch and the tightness and the quality of the pitch shifting. The default complex mode is great for transposing anything like dense loops, polyphonic material, or even full mixes. <laughs> In this mode, choose one of three grain sizes. Shorter grains give tighter timing, whereas longer sizes can sound smoother when pitching bass. Next is vocals mode. Can you guess what that one is best for? Yep, monophonic voices. Ooh, it feels like I am see through. Ooh, it feels like I am see through. Ooh, it feels like I am see through. And it also works great on instruments like single voice synths. Speaking of vocals, I should mention that Pitch Shaper excels at vocal harmonies. Just use the mix control to blend your repitched and original signals. Ooh, it feels like I am see through. What can make my, make my heart beat slower? Stop. Ooh, 
It feels like I am see-through Love can make my, make my heart beat slower Stop, I never knew that I could love you I can't love you, I can't love you the drums algorithm combines aspects of the complex and vocals algorithms for a focus on transient punch and tone. So try this mode when shifting anything percussive, including punchy monophonic instruments. You may have spotted that the vocals and drums modes have these formant controls greyed out by default. We'll get to that very soon. Note that both complex and drums mode give very tight transients. There's no pre-ringing artifacts, there's no flamming between dry and wet signals, there's no messed up stereo, and that's a rare thing in a real-time pitch shifter. If you do want that sloppy, flamming, old-school sound, there's vintage mode. This one's inspired by the pitch shifting algorithms of old school effects units and samplers. This mode has a continuous grain size slider, going from tight and metallic to loose and glitchy. Now I should make it clear that these names are just guidelines, you should try all the different modes on different sources. And you can do that by trying the free, fully functional demo at cableguys.com slash pitchshaper. Next it's time to check out Pitchshaper's formant shifting and formant modulation. Let's use this voice as an example. I need a reason why you're always on my mind. So what is formant shifting? It's the process of changing the resonant frequencies of a sound, its formants, independently of the sound's pitch. Both vocals and drums modes have these formant controls. Let's unlink formant from pitch to activate them. You can shift formants up for helium voices and chipmunk effects. And shift formants down for deep monster voices. I need a reason why. Now let's select the formant control to edit its LFO and modulate formant to shape timbre independently of pitch. I need a reason why. Try out the formant section's wave presets for timbre twisting fun. I need a reason why. And here's another pitch-tastic feature that's a lot of fun to explore. Say you've got pitch set lower than formant, I'll use extreme values to demo the effect. With this density slider at zero, you get these micro gaps created by compressed formants, giving this raspy nasal quality. I need a reason why you're always on my mind. Now I'll increase density. This fills in those gaps in the waveform. I need a reason why you're always on my mind. When modulating pitch and formant at extremes like this, turning up density gives this unique hard sync style special effect. It's super fun to play with. I need a reason why you're always on my mind. I feel like I can fly. You're always on my mind. With more sensible values, you can use density to smooth out the waveform and explore new textures. I need a reason why you're always on my mind. I need a reason why you're always on my mind. Okay, here's something cool that you probably haven't tried before. Multiband pitch shifting. Just like the other shapers, Pitch Shaper has up to three bands of multiband. Pitch shifting only certain frequency ranges opens up new creative possibilities. You could re-pitch only the bass in a full musical loop. Or 
pitch up only the treble to blend in hi-fi texture. Note that the pitch mode you select is a global setting for all bands. Next up, Pitch Shaper's envelope follower lets you dial in dynamic shifting that reacts to each note. Head over to the envelope follower to add pitch fluctuations that respond to the input signal. This can be used to give sounds a slightly broken analog feel. or breathe life and imperfections into repetitive hi-hats. And formant can also be modulated by its own envelope follower for reactive timbral shifting. Okay, next here are some more pitch perfect tricks to try. Pitch Shaper really shines when you bring out the emotion of pitch changes with the other Shaper effects. Here I've taken this looping hip hop sample and I've drawn a new riff with pitch shifting. I wanted to make this sound more sampled and old school. So here's a neat tip. If you turn snapping off and add soft points just a few cents above and below the root pitch, you can draw in gentle pitch drifting that sounds like an old warp tape or vinyl record. Check out the waves in the gentle category for more examples of this. So next I thought, how can I make this feel more sampled. So I added vinyl crackle with noise shaper to bring out that crusty feel. And for the finishing touch, I wanted to highlight this high note in the riff. So I've sent this note to reverb and this ties it all together in a unique way. Just like all the Shaper Box shapers, pitch can be re-triggered by audio transients. Use audio mode to create pitch effects that reset on each incoming note. For example, use the drums mode and tightly re-pitch drum hits in real time. Or draw weirder triggered curves to create pitch blips at the front of notes. And taken to extremes, the possibilities for glitch and sound design are endless. Take you away to Head to cableguys.com to try the Pitch Shaper demo and to find out more. Pitch Shaper is available on its own or in the full Shaper Box bundle. Or get it in the full Cable Guys bundle containing Shaper Box 3, Snapback, Half Time, Filter Shaper XL, Curve 2, and MIDI Shaper. And existing Shaper Box owners, log in at cableguys.com to see your upgrade price.